head spinning. This is big money, obviously, £250,000. But you still have two lifelines left, asking the audience or phoning a friend. Right, let's see the question for £500,000. The Norwegian explorer Roald Amundsen reached the South Pole on the 14th of December of which year? 1891, 1901, 1911, or 1921? That's Amundsen. The Norwegian explorer Roald Amundsen reached the South Pole on the 14th of December of which year? 1891, 1901, 1911, or 1921? I don't know. I think it's at the earlier end. I know he beat the English Scott, was that Scott, of the Antarctic? Who I feel was Victorian which makes it 1891. This is for half a million pounds. I don't know that this is something my final friends would know either. Maybe they don't. I mean, it is. <clears throat> I don't know how the audience is feeling. Um... Have you got any inklings at all? Well, as I say, I think he beat, I think, the British, which was, I think, Scott of the Antarctic, which I think was Victorian, which would make it sort of A or B, um, 1891, 1901. I think 1921 is definitely too late. I also have a vague inkling that somebody did something interesting, exploratory-wise, sort of on the verge of, of war, which would make it 1911 because they sort of were out of touch. Um, so I think all I'm vaguely certain of is that it wasn't 1921. Well, as I say, we have two lifelines. Yeah. Don't know of my phone friends. I don't know who might know it. I don't know who would know this of any of my friends. But um, polar explorers would know it. Yeah. Well, yeah. Unfortunately, I don't know any. Um, Are you a gambler? Um. Not in the sense of um, betting for money, but I like, I like a bit of competition. Yeah. You like your heart beating a bit more. <laughs> well, I bet it is now. I'm not sure it's beating at all. Um, <laughs> I can feel my fingers, <laughs> like, uh, more than uh, normal. <laughs> um, As you say, you've definitely got 125,000. You've definitely got two lifelines. You're definitely running out of water. thinking? I'm thinking of using a lifeline. I am just debating which one. Um, it's not your classic audience friendly question, but it's oh, majority, majority rule. Which Kardashian? <laughs> um, no, I do know what you mean. And I'm not being uh, rude to the audience, it's just it, trying to get a definitive, a, a one mm. that's raised up is... Um, if it was 1911, I feel I might have remembered the 100th anniversary or something. I'm going to ask the audience. Right, audience, no responsibility here. <laughs> On your keypads, please. Let's, uh, let's see 
See if we can help uh, Eleanor up to half a million pounds. This is the question. The Norwegian explorer Roald Amundsen reached the South Pole on the 14th of December of which year? If you think it's 1891, push A, 1901, B, C, 1911. D, 1921. All vote now, please. Right, there we are. Mm. See, have I, have I talked them into it? <laughs> Nearly half, actually. I was That's entirely wrong. I've gone for 1901. Nearly 30% 1891, quarter for 1911, and absolutely nobody for 1921. Will that help? Well, it bas basically reflects my own thinking, so I'm not sure whether I've talked them into it or I'm right, or... I mean, that's about my strength of thinking as well. Rule out 21. Is this the legal brain working things out? No. Just... No. <laughs> it's just a panicky brain. <laughs> Fight or flight, yeah. <laughs> well, you don't have to play, remember? No, I know, I know. You don't have to play. I mean, you do... Well, we're in the middle of a life. Well, we just used yeah. the third lifeline. I mean, uh, I I'm not sure I can stand up right now, so... Uh, <laughs> oh, you might as well just carry on playing. Yeah. <laughs> um, the really annoying thing is I actually know this one. <sighs> Things you don't want to hear right now. Yeah. <laughs> Catapult lifelines. Um, Trady one Sri Lankan flag. <laughs> <laughs> I should have known that one. Um, well, I say I know it. I'll probably be wrong, just but. Um, but uh, well, that's irrelevant. I mean, I've got 125,000. That's yeah. a lot of money. Well, you. You can't jack it in without using your final lifeline. No, but I could play it. You could play it. Because whatever happens, you've still got £125,000 yeah. that you didn't have and then I've still 17 got one, hours one ago. Lifeline. <laughs> <laughs> Just knitting. Yeah. <laughs> I think I'm going to play it. <laughs> I said I couldn't really feel my fingers and I can't feel my feet. Um, <laughs> um, half a million quid. Yeah. But 125,000. Yeah, but half a million. I'm not pushing you on. Probably not supposed to push you, I'm just saying half a million quid. I am going to play 1901. Okay. Mm. And I know, I know, I know. I need, I need, I need two more words. You do need a couple more words, I'm afraid. <laughs> I'm going to play 1901. I'm sure it's not 1921. Disinclined to 1911. Pretty sure Scott was a Victorian. Amundsen beat Scott. 1891 and 1901 are both Victorian. Dates. And maybe some time. Um, Antarctic joke. Nineteen oh one. Final answer. It's competition time. <laughs> and look, Eleanor is currently on £250,000. She's hoping to make it to 500000 This was the question. The Norwegian explorer Roll Amazon reached the South Pole on the 14th of December of which year? You asked the audience. Nearly half said 1901. You've gone with that. You've said 1901. It's the wrong answer. Oh, no, 
I'm so sorry, it's 1911. Uh. It's 1911, but I don't want to dwell on this, <laughs> that you've just lost £125,000, because the fact remains, you are going back to Cambridge with £125,000. <laughs> I mean, what a player. You must surely be one of the best contenders we've ever had, I would imagine. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Eleanor Ayres! <laughs> Some family members waiting to see you. Give her a massive round, everybody. That's just fabulous. Well done.